Have you always wondered how to get that beautiful acoustic guitar sound you hear on Blackbird? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you step by step in today's video, and I've had a little bit of a journey with this song. When I first started playing it, I played it like the way I've seen a lot of students play it over the years, with a finger-picking style where they're articulating every note, and as my chops grew and I listened more and more to that original recording, which by the way, the recording we're gonna be referencing is of course the one from the White Album, just the classic standard recording, because I know of course there's a lot of versions of this and live versions. But what I figured out is the way that I was playing it was actually not what was on the recording. So the way that I was playing it was in this finger picking style where I was using multiple fingers and playing it almost like a classical style. And then later I ended up adapting it to more of like what I call a John Mayer style, which I have a video on my channel about how to play Stop This Train by John Mayer. And this is the way that a lot of people play this, which definitely sounds closer to the recording. But out of all the videos that I've seen on YouTube and all the lessons, I've never seen one that details it out the way I'm gonna show you in this video today. And this is my best detective work for what is on the recording. So I hope you get some value out of today's video. And if you enjoy it, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Now before we dive into it, I've got a free tab sample pack at the first link down below, and this is going to give you some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And they're just going to make learning from my videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you, and with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's learn how to play Blackbird on guitar. Now we're going to start off with learning the two patterns that we need to know that are going to unlock the sound of this song, and we're gonna use them throughout the whole song as we move through different combinations here in the fretting hand. So let me start off with the first pattern, and it's just gonna use our thumb in our finger picking hand and our index. So really, for this whole song, you only just need those two fingers in the finger picking hand. Now we're gonna play this. That's it, that's the first pattern. So it starts, I'm using a G shape here, and I've got my third finger on the third fret of the low E. And I'm gonna pinch that note there, along with the second string open. So I'm using my thumb here and my index on the second string. Pinch those two, and then give a little brush. Now you wanna aim for this third string, but it's okay if you hit a few other strings like the D string or even the, the B string again. The idea is that you're getting used to this motion of your thumb going down and doing a brush motion. And this gets a really warm and great sound just using the fingertip there, so. So that's our first pattern, and what I want you to do is just repeat it. It's one beat long, it's two eighth notes. You can count it like this, one and. One and two and three and four and just get used to doing that. Now, I'm going to explain the fretting hand in a second, but you can see when I put this together with some different chord shapes, you can start sounding like this. Right? Now, from there, I slid all the way up to the 10th fret on the 5th string and the 12th fret on the 2nd string. Now here's where pattern 2 comes in, and that one sounds like this. Now what I'm doing is starting the same way with a pinch, this time I'm pinching the 5th string and the 2nd string together, thumb and index. Then I'm gonna use my thumb and brush the strings, then index, then thumb, then index. I'm just gonna alternate two and three and, and then I'll finish on beat four with my thumb going down. So it's pinch, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb. And rhythmically, you could go one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. If I count all the eighth notes, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. What it does is transform the part. The way that I played this for years before I knew what I'm showing you now is I finger picked it like this. Like a pattern like that, and it requires 
way more chops. It's way harder to play. It's, it's way harder to do this at tempo than it is to go and just get used to almost basically strumming with your thumb. So putting those together, you can get this sound for the intro. And just to contrast, you know, if I if I played more of like a classical style, even like where I'm or or finger picking where I'm picking every note versus And you can hear that really warm sound on the White Album, you know, you just hear the acoustic with that brushing. Now sometimes players will use their index finger to brush. The problem with that is that it sounds like a pick because when you brush with your index on, on the downbeat, you, you go down and you're using the nail and that sounds like a pick. So that's like this. Which is close, but on the record it's really that sound. And this other way, is like a modern way. That's like the way John Mayer, you know, would play if you listen to his song Stop This Train. Which is similar, but this is like. So once you get those two patterns, then you can really start digging into the fretting hand and the shapes you need to know. So let's talk about that next. We're gonna start on a G shape. Then we'll go to A minor seven. A minor 11, really, it's just one finger here, and I'm pinching the fifth string and the second string. Then I do the little thumb brush. Then I go to a G over B, second fret, third fret, second on the fifth string, and then third on the second string. Then the thumb brush again. Then you slide all the way up to 10 and 12, this G shape up here. And that's where you start pattern two. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. Then the verse comes in, blackbird singing in the dead. Okay, then we go back to pattern one and we go. Okay, so that's all pattern one, but we've got different chord shapes here. I'm playing three and five to four and three, then five and seven, then six and five and then seven and eight. Now one interesting thing about this is you'll notice the bass motion. If you look at the tab, it says three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two for the bass motion. So it's all half steps, even though we have these shapes that look like our hand is maybe doing something, you know, in intricate, but it's really just climbing up in half steps there in the bass, so. Now when we get to this shape, seven and eight, we're gonna switch back to pattern two and go. For two bars there, so that's seven and eight, then you drop the index down to six and eight, so. Then we work our way back through basically the reverse of what we did coming up. So that's five, seven, then four and three, then three and five. Now here, when we land on this chord, we go back to pattern two. So these are pattern one, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, then pinch, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, right? So then we bring that pinky back to to the fourth fret, then drop the whole chord, one fret, then just go to the second fret here on the second string, then go to the first fret, but put the D in the bass. The fourth string is where my thumb is playing. Then home to G. Okay, so all of that, starting from here. So 
So I'll put that together with the intro. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And verse. Blackbird singing in the dead of If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. All right, the next part is this little turnaround, and this is actually used to end the song, and it comes up a few times throughout the song. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and. So we're using a combination of pinch, and just the thumb, pattern one, and then the full pattern, pattern two. So we're gonna start on the third fret here, and the fifth fret, and we'll do a little thumb brush. Then we'll move it down to a G over B shape. So that's one and two and, it's a two four bar, then we go one, two and three and four, one, two and three and four, one, two and three and four. So after these first two chords, then we go to pattern two, and we play this shape, to this shape, to G. So. Okay, so again, coming out of the verse. Then you start again. Blackbird singing in the dead of Climb up. Back down. Then we go to the chorus. Now this is the last part that we need to learn. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and. So what I'm playing here is this same shape, like 10 and 12, that we used in our intro, but we're gonna bring it down two frets to eight and 10. And notice that as I use all these different shapes here for the chorus, I'm either playing one fret between my fingers or right next to each other. So here it's the spread out shape, then we bring it in to seven and eight, then five and six, three and five, back to the spread out shape, one and three. So it walks all the way down. Now we use pattern one with the finger picking hand for all of them until we get down to here. So it's pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, then land here and go one, two, and three, and four, then bring it up, three, five, one, two, and three, and four. So. Restart. Now the second time we'll keep going down, just like what we did in the verse. I hope you got some value out of today's video and you learned how to recreate some of these sounds that you hear on the recording. Make sure to go and play it along with the original recording and then take these sections that I showed you in this video and piece it together to the form of the song. So that's the idea with this video is you learn the components or the different sections of the song and then you piece it together in the form. So it's gonna go like intro and then you're gonna go into the verse and then we do the little turnaround and basically just plug that into the song and you'll be sounding just like the recording in no time. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier. I just wanna hook you up with that as a gift for spending some time with me today. Let me know down below also what your number one song is you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support and we'll see you in another video real soon.